What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Strong and Family Money Show. My name is Andres. Thanks for coming back um, today. I'm recording this on a Sunday. I had a pretty good weekend. Um, did not did I make it to the gym? Made it to the gym yesterday. Did not go this morning. Maybe had a long night last night. Kept uh, my wife and I up, so didn't get up in time to go to the gym. Um, anyway, um, so this may go. Uh, counter to most of the things that you've heard. Um, so uh, the whole purpose of this show is to um, prepare everyone for the future, make sure everyone has enough money to make it through the end, uh, whatever end that is, retirement or, you know, whatever your uh, end game is. Um, and a lot of times people think, um, you know, save, save, save. And that's a good starting point. Um, but I'm here to tell you that um, saving won't get you uh, very far. And if all you do, I'm referring to my notes over here, one, bring them up so that I am prepared. So, you know, saving by itself will not get you very far. So if all you do is save for your retirement, uh, that's great. Uh, but at the end of the day, that will not get you to where you want to go. So in this in this episode... I'm going to give you the three steps um, that you need to do in order for you to be prepared for when you decide that you're ready to retire. Uh, so step number one, yes, first step is save. Uh, you should have a budget. Uh, you should know where your money is going. Uh, you should try and put as much money as you can uh, away as possible. And we'll, I'll get to what away means here in a second. Um, but you definitely should be planning for the future in that way. Uh, understand that, you know, at some point, um, well, at some point that in, that stream of money will end. And that's why just saving isn't going to be your uh, golden egg at the end of the day. Um, so, you know, I, this, um, one of my episodes, prior episodes is about um budgeting go back and view that episode if you want some tips on how to budget for your family i'll link it here in the show notes um so you have to know where your money is going first and foremost put as much money away as you can so that um you can do step number three step number two is when you're younger uh it's when you should be working the most okay so you should um in order to get to step three you have to have you know, something to do in step three. The only way you're going to do that is to have uh, extra cash that is outside of what your normal expenses are. So you want to work as much as you can. You want to work overtime. You want to work a second job. You want to, you know, if your spouse can work, you know, you want them to work as well. Um, and if you can do it all yourself, that's even better. Um, you want to sell things. You want to recycle. So you want to do as much as you can to uh, put as much money as you can in the bank so you can do step one. Uh, but then to transition to step three, the reason that you want to budget, the reason you want to uh, save as much money as you can and earn as much money as you can by whatever means you choose to do that is so that you can then um, invest. Um, and really investing is what's going to uh, take you to the next level as far as being able to retire properly, you know, everyone at some point will have to stop working for one reason or another. Uh, and you want it to be uh, your choice. You want to say, I'm the, I choose on this day to stop working because I have planned financially to do so. And I want to do, you know, X, Y, and Z thing um, in my golden years. Um, and the only way that you're really going to do that is to invest and invest properly. So you want to do, you know, 401k at your work. Uh, you want to do, you know, your own um, IRA if your employer does not offer one. Um, you, if you're inclined to do some real st um, stock investing on your own, be it day swing or long-term investing. Um, you want to invest in real estate. Um and that, in my opinion, is probably the most lucrative um, investment you can have is to invest in in real estate. 
And the only reason you're you're doing that, um, you're not doing that to um, be a fancy day trader or to um, be able to buy your next fancy car, right? The reason that you want to invest and save money, make money, invest money, the, reason, the only reason you're doing that is so that you can then uh, stop working uh, at an age where you can enjoy the rest of your life, right? So you don't want to stop working at whatever 70 some and then something happens to you and you're not able to either enjoy the money or you retire for some reason uh, earlier, um, like, you know, in your 60s and you have to then, all you do with the rest of your days here is to worry about money because you didn't plan accordingly in your, your younger years. That's probably the worst case scenario. Um, so the three steps for, you know, taking care of your retirement is to save your money, make a budget, put in a lot of money away. Don't be frivolous in your spending. Um, you know, treat yourself, but you want to, you want to plan to treat yourself uh, when you retire. The next is um, earn more money. So ask for your raises, get a better job, work two jobs, sell things. Um, uh, and you also want to invest your money. So all that money that you've been earning, you want to put it somewhere that it earns money on its own. And um, while you're sleeping, um, you know, you don't have to do anything to earn this money. Uh, so that is the key. That's what's going to get you to the next level as far as being able to retire comfortably uh, when you want and hopefully early and being able to, you know, travel the world or, you know, coach your grandkids um, sports teams or, you know, give back to other people monetarily. Um, you know, is, is being able to, in your younger years, make a lot of money, uh, save a lot of money, invest a lot of money. So anyway, uh, you know, saving money won't get you far, uh, far by itself. You want to use those other two keys to get you where you want to go. Uh, we're all headed there. We want to make sure that we get there on our own plan. And, um, you know, we want to be able to choose the day we do this and execute this plan in, in our golden year. So thanks a lot. That's my tip for this week. Um, appreciate it if you share this video with others, like it, and subscribe. Um, my name's Andres. This is the Strong Family Money Show. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.